Hi, hello everyone. In the previous video, we already learned about one-to-one -one function. And to find one-to-one -one function, we're using two methods. That is algebraic approach and horizontal line test. We also already learned how to find one-to-one -one function using two simple examples. That is linear and simple quadratic function. Now, in this video, we continue to learn how to find one-to-one -one function using another two examples. Right. In example C, f of s is x squared minus 3x plus 2. So, this is also quadratic function where we can factorize first this quadratic. As you already learned in the pre secondary school, this quadratic can be factorized and you can check with your calculator. The factor would be x minus 1 and x minus 2. So, using horizontal line test, we can sketch the graph right so put it 1 and 2 here because the solution is actually x intersect then we sketch horizontal line y equals to k and then circle out that we have two intersection here and then write the sentence here that is when line equals to k intersects the graph at two points what happened remember in the previous video yes f is not one to one right so this is using horizontal line test if the question asks you to use algebra approach remember what you need to do Yes, yeah, substitute left hand side x with x1 and on the right hand side x with x2. And then, firstly, we need to cancel out the constant, remember? Next, after that, we'll get the term of square and also x. Remember, next, what we need to do? Right, we bring the square fact, the square of x on the one side that is x1 square and x2 square to the left hand side. So this one we bring to right hand side, it will be positive 3x1 minus 3x2. Then, remember this one, we can factorize. Because this is actually x, x squared minus y squared. Remember? If x squared minus y squared, we can factorize to be x plus 1 and x minus y. So using this concept in this example, so that we can factorize x1 squared minus x2 squared to be 
x1 minus x2, x2 either way if you want to put minus or plus first then x1 plus x2 and then this we bring to the left hand side then we factorize 3 so 3 can be factorized so minus 3 x1 minus x2 equals to 0 ok now what happened you can see right here we have two similar factor that is x1 minus x2 so we can bring this factor at the front so x1 minus x2 and then the rest would be right here so we bring x1 plus x2 and also minus 3 right here so x1 plus x2 minus 3 equals to 0 right here and then remember this quadratic what happened after this when, when we already factorize you can find the solution right x equal 1 x equals 2 right so that's why we get 1 and 2 right here right so we also apply the same concept right here if you use algebraic approach that so after this we will solve then we get x1 equals to x2 how about this one x1 equals to yeah if we bring x2 and minus 3 to the right hand side it would be negative x2 plus 3 right as you can see we have two solution so write down the sentence here since we have two solutions therefore f is not one to one because in order for the function to be one to one function we can only have one solution so that's it next we'll try to solve example d so in example d we have the absolute function right the modulus sign right here represent absolute function right so for absolute function which method you want to use first i think it's better for us to use algebraic approach first because we already learned then remember x1 we need to replace with on the left hand side don't forget the modular sign and on the right hand side replace with x2 okay next in order to eliminate the modular sign what you need to do yes we have to square in both sides so we square in both sides right here so now it would be x1 minus 3 squared equals to x2 minus 3 squared and then it would be x1 squared minus 3 x minus 3 x so minus 6 x 1 don't forget 1 plus 9 and on the right hand side it would be x2 squared minus 6 x2 plus 9 then don't forget after this we need to eliminate the constant so 
we get x squared and also x and then don't forget in the previous example we bring the square x square on the left hand side and bring the x on the right hand side then remember we this one we factorize right I already mentioned in the previous uh, example so here it would be x1 plus x2 and x1 minus x2 again as I mentioned in the previous video in the, in the previous example it can be either plus or minus first no problem and then also I already mentioned in the previous example this one can we bring to the left hand side and we factorize 6 Okay, so now we can factorize, factorize x1 plus x minus x2, right? This is the similar factor. So x1 minus x2, so the rest of it, x1, x2, and minus z, we put right here. So now we will have two solutions that is x1 equals to x2 and x1 equals to negative x2 plus 6. So in this case, remember the, the center what you need to write here, here. That is since we have two solutions. Therefore, f is, yes, not one-to-one. -one. So, this is how we use algebraic approach. How about horizontal line test? Yeah, of course, you need to sketch the graph first. So, since this is an absolute function, you need to find out how the graph change from positive to negative definition that is by find out the value of x inside there that is 3 so we know x equals 3 the graph will change from positive to negative definition so this is 3 so this is a linear function inside there x minus 3 so this is the graph it should be negative minus 3 over below here, right? So we bring negative 3 here to be positive 3 right here. So we connect the graph like this. So this is the graph of absolute of x minus 3. And then don't forget to sketch the line y equals to k. Then after we sketch the graph, what you need to write below here? Yes, you need to circle out the two intersections and write down right here. Line y equals to k intersects at two points. Therefore, the conclusion would be f is not one one before we end this video just to let you know that in the actual question you don't need to show both methods you can choose either method if the question asks or maybe the question asks specifically which method that you need to use That's it for the video. In the next video, we will learn how to find one-to-one -one function if the function is restricted its domain. So for now, thank you very much.